Hello everyone, we are from True Maths and in this video we are going to solve question number 6 of exercise 9.1. The question says a 1.5 meter tall boy is standing at some distance from a 30 meter tall building. The angle of elevation from his eyes to the top of the building increases from 30 to 60 as he walks toward the building. You have to find the distance he walked toward the building. So, it is given that there is a building which is 30 meter tall and there is a boy which is 1.5 meter tall and the angle of elevation from the eyes of this boy to the top of this building increases from 30 to 60 as he walks toward the building means right now he is here and if he walks toward the building and after some time suppose right now he is here and after some time he moves this much toward uh, the building and from here the angle of elevation increases from 30 to 60 and the angle of elevation is basically the angle between the line of sight and between the horizontal line. So this must be the horizontal line. So this angle of elevation is increased from 30 to 60. So initially it was 30 degree. And after that, it has become 60 degrees. Now you have to find the distance he walked toward the building. Means you have to find this distance. Or you can say this distance. This must be same. Now if I name this triangles, this is A, B, this point as C, this point as D. Now, this distance and this distance must be same similarly this distance this distance must be same and this distance this distance must be same as well as this distance so if the height of this boy is 1.5 here also it should be 1.5 and here also it should be 1.5 meters so from the building which is 30 meter high if i subtract the distance which is 1.5 so this distance will become 28.5 meters now I know the distance this is 28.5 meters and you need to find the distance BC and how to find the distance BC for that if I know if I know the distance between BD and from this distance if I subtract this distance CD so I'll get my answer which is equals to BC so first of all I must know the value of BD and I must know the value of CD so I'll subtract CD from BD and the remaining will be the answer which is the distance which this boy walked toward the building here. Now first of all let's find the value of CD and how to find that for that we will uh, we'll solve in triangle this is ACD so in triangle ACD this triangle perpendicular is given to you and the base you have to find and for that I use the ratio for 10 theta theta is here is given as 60 degrees perpendicular is 28.5 and base here is CD this is 10 theta is equal to perpendicular upon base perpendicular is given base we have to find out and the theta is 60 degrees the value of 1060 is root 3 and this is 28.5 upon CD. So the value of CD will be equals to, if I cross multiply this, this will be 28.5 upon root 3. So I know the value of CD. Now I have to find the value of BD. For that I will solve in this bigger triangle ABD. This bigger triangle for again this perpendicular is given to you and you need to find out the base when the theta is given to you as 
30 degree because in this bigger triangle here the angle of elevation is given to you as 30 degree again in triangle this is a b d 10 theta and theta is given to you as 30 degree must be equal to perpendicular again it is 28.5 upon base which is bd because in this bigger triangle perpendicular will remain the same but base will become bd now the value of 10 30 is 1 upon root 3 and that will be equal to 28.5 upon bd if i cross multiply this the value of bd will be 28.5 root 3 now i know the value of cd this I, uh, I have already calculated. I know the value of BD, which is again we have calculated. And from this, if I subtract this, this value will be the answer, which is the remaining value here. So, the distance BC will be equal to BD minus CD. And BD, BC is the distance which we have to find out. The distance he walked toward the building. So, this is the distance here. The BD is equals to 28.5 root 3 minus the value of CD here is 28.5 upon root 3. If I take 28.5 as common, so root 3 will be from this. If I take 28.5 as common, so only 3 will remain under root 3. And from here, if I this if I take this a, a common. So 1 upon root 3 will remain inside the bracket. For the solving, this is 28.5. Taking LCM. So the LCM of root 3 and 1 will be root 3. Now this is cross multiplied by 3. And with this cross multiplied by. So this will be 3 minus 1. Again this will be 28.5 multiplied by 2 upon root 3. Now. Further, if I have to solve this, this is the root in the denominator and to solve this, I have to rationalize this and rationalizing means you have to multiply root 3 with the denominator as well as with the numerator because this value can be cancelled and removing this, the result will be same. Means uh, multiplying this won't change the value of this complete expression. Now, 28.5 into 2 will be 5 into 2 is 10. This will be 57 multiplied by root 3 and root 3 multiplied by root 3 is 3. So, this will be 57 root 3 upon 3 and again this can be cancelled. 19 times the distance BC here must be equal to 19 root 3. So the uh, distance which this boy walked toward the building must be equal to 19 root 3. Now if you substitute the value of root 3 here as 1.73 and you if you multiply 19 with 1.73 uh, this will be the answer in decimals. So this is how you can solve this particular question here. I hope you have understood how to solve these kind of questions. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel. And if you have any problem in maths, you can directly contact to us. The phone number and the email address is given below in the description. Thank you.